Switch hustles out of love with her. Double down out of love with her. Grind for it out of love with her. Put in work out of love with her. Switch hustles out of love with her. Double down out of love with her. Grind for it out of love with her. Put in work out of love with her. What's up, YouTube? This is Calvin Bond from Bond Trucking coming to y'all with another video. On this video right here, I am in Pinston, PA at a PNG and I'm taking it to Winterville, Ohio. First, this um, Pinston, PA uh, PNG have bobtail parking. You can drop your trailer if you if you got a load here. You can drop your trailer and you can sit here for tonight, do a 10 hour break. So that's what I did. And they said that my load is ready, so I gotta pick my load up. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. This load right here is 332 miles. It pays $470.95. On my fuel, I bought my fuel in Virginia, where the fuel is cheap. And I brung, I bought enough fuel to take that load from Virginia to PA drop it off dead head here pick this load up and take this load to Ohio before I need any more fuel like I always say try not to buy fuel in Pennsylvania unless you have to and if you have to just buy enough to get out of Pennsylvania this load right here cents per mile loaded miles and dead head miles is a dollar and 41 cents I'm going to pop my week up. Okay. This whole week, I did four loads. All four loads came to $2,242.41. My truck cost is $953. That's truck payment, insurance, and the rest of my deductible. After I took all of that out, my fuel and my deductibles minus my 35% that they charge, it came to $1,289.41. Okay, I did total miles, 1,808 miles. In fuel, I paid this week nine hundred and thirty seven dollars and twenty one cents my total cents per mile for all miles this week is one dollar and eighty six cents now I had a message that somebody asked me how do you know your true cents per mile and it's simple the way you know your true cents per mile for the week, because you got to go on a week by week basis, then break it down on a month to month as you go, because we got a big overhead. What you do is you take your total after everything and you divide it by the miles that you ran that week. So with my total, my total is $1,289.41 and I divide 1,808 miles and that brings that my true cents per mile this week was 71 cents a mile, all miles. Now, I'm not counting my 10 cents a mile because that's escrow and it goes into another fund and I only can use it when it's truck related. But if I add that, it's 81 cents a mile, all miles this week. So let's get started. All right, they told me that my load was in M, section M. So, I'm going to let y'all ride with me to go and pick this loaded trailer up. Then I got to go to back to the front and get my paperwork.
the reason why I broke that down like it is because I had a subscriber to ask me some questions about my true sense per mile and he told me to use my odometer from the beginning of the year and divide the miles from the beginning of the year to today with the net pay that I did but you can't do that because you run a lot of miles that you don't get paid for and personal convenience you know stuff like that and I if I feel like going home I really don't care where I'm at I mean I can be in Pennsylvania if I if I wake up this morning and I drop my load off and I feel like going home I'm gonna dead head home but I'm gonna make sure that my business made good money this month so by taking a loss to go home it don't it don't hurt my business and another thing on my business well let me explain that a little more first so you just don't think that I just I jump up and run home I'm gonna try to find a load going towards the house or close as I can to the house and then I'm gonna deadhead because I live in Tennessee and it's not a lot of freight in Tennessee so I'm gonna deadhead as close as I can because I know that I might have to drive 200 miles. I drive 200 miles to Deadhead home. I don't mind that because I know the situation of where I live. So I don't mind Deadhead home 200 miles if I have to. But you can't count that as how much that you made this year because that's considered as a loss. That's not considered as a gain. And you cannot use that as how much you made since per mile. So. You cannot use your abdominal reading, divide that, the miles on that by your net pay. But you can do it on a load by load basis and on a monthly bas basis by picking up and dropping off a load as long as you put in your real miles. So make sure that you put in your real miles. trying to find this trailer so we can pick this up and get out of here looking for two three four trailer number two three four also want to say shout out to all my subscribers i do appreciate the support thank you it motivates me to do more videos and i'm trying to invest some money into some more videos so some of my video is going to change let me know if y'all like it so i can keep doing it because right now i'm just experiment i'm just experimenting on videos because I'm, I'm going, I'm learning as I go on. So I don't really know how to do this. I'm just trying to do it. Okay. Maybe I'll pass my trailer. So let me go back around. This load right here is, is 10,000 pounds. So I'm gonna get 8.5 miles to the gallon. Regardless if I go 65 or go 73. So I'm going to make good on fuel miles regardless of how I do it with this load. Okay, this is section K. So let me go back up to section M.
two is still in the door. Okay, it's not in the door. It just looked like it's in the door. get under my trailer and I make sure that my landing gear is not on the ground first of all I'm trying to record this in in wide angle so hopefully y'all can see everything that I'm doing Then what I do is I always bring my landing gear up because it's already off the ground. Three point stand. Now I'm gonna go around and do my lights and brake checks. Make sure everything is intact. Make sure my seal is intact. Make sure everything is good. Washed my truck yesterday. And went in mud today. I mean, uh, last night. So, the wash lasts for a day. Make sure my mud flaps is good. Got to keep watch on that. Make sure my lights are good. This is in there, right? That one looked like it wanted to pop out. Make sure my seal's good. Light. Never forget about that. Let's see if y'all can see. Never forget about your tag light. That's a good deal, T. They can bring you real good for that. You always want to make sure that your tag light is working good. Truck lights. Mud flap. sure my wiring and my hoses is intact that made me mad it is what it is though I'd rather make my money over anything on this the rest of my lights are good. Tag is good. 
I always, I always look at my deer horns. Lights good. Now I can go and get my paperwork, start this trip. The freight over here is getting better. do my week and my month is I do what's good for my business a lot of people they they just run they don't they don't they don't they're not businessmen they're not good business people they're 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 truck drivers so they just run they don't really know their cents per mile they don't really know what it is to have a business, how to make your business roll, do, they don't know how to make your business profitable. That's the word I'm looking for. They don't know how to make their business profitable. The way that I do it is, I run smart, I don't run hard. One week out of the month, I run hard and not smart, meaning that I will run hard to make a high paycheck one week out of the month and then the last, the next three weeks, I can't tell you if it's the first week, second week, third week, fourth week, but I run hard one week out of the month to make a high paycheck, but the rest of the month I run smart instead of hard to make my cents per mile and my with low fuel costs and it evens out real good that that month that's normally how I run my business I always remember we are not truck drivers we're business owners that drive truck and you have to conduct yourself as a business owner the week that I run hard and not smart it's like Walmart going on sale this week and selling stuff at cost to pull in more customers that's basically how I look at it so I run hard that week to pay my home expenses so I run hard that week to cover that to try to cover it in a week so the rest of the month is all my money Now, I'm not telling you how to run your business. You run your business how you want. But this is the best opportunity today while you're leasing and have support. Because when you're leasing, you have support. Somebody is supporting you. JB Hunt is supporting me. They have, they have my back. When I'm in the hole, they help me get out of the hole. I don't have to pay everything all at once. So that's support. So when you have support, you have room to mess up. So this is the best opportunity to learn how to be a business owner. Because once you get out there by yourself, you don't have any help. about that. vlogs oh okay so i try to vlog my day of what i do i got you, I got you. now you said an issue here
6-8-5-8-5. He's right. Yeah, I get out of the driver's way. <clears throat> Finish doing my loaded call and I'm ready to roll. Go in here and give me an energy drink. Start my day. I'ma go and I'ma go weigh my truck anyway. Since I couldn't find the total weight. started and be on my way.
take me a bathroom break and get back on this trip.